Hi everyone, my name's Angela and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, just want you to do a home bargains haul today because I'm often popping in these great shops so I thought I would share what I bought with you. Whilst in there looking at the makeup, a lady came along and was talking to me that she bought the makeup out there and uses it all the time and she prefers it over a lot of makes. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll just show you what I bought today and this is from Max and Moore. I will show you close ups in a minute. Um, this is the concealer. Um, so all the makeup that I bought in there is what I'm wearing today. So this is the concealer. So I bought that uh, one which is the natural. Okay, so I didn't just buy that one. I actually bought the medium as well because they had no testers and I didn't want to take them out and test them on my hand so I thought for the price they were 99p each I would just give it a go and just try it why not for 99p anyway love a bargain so with the Max and More makeup again I actually went on and bought these pressed powders which I've actually got on today and I'm actually really hot at the moment because I normally have the windows open but I've shut them because I didn't want all the outside noise coming in. But this is a pressed powder from Max and & More and this is the tan one which I've not tried yet so I haven't got this one on. And this one is the light beige, okay. This is the light beige which I've actually used and that's why you can see the sponge is a bit. But yeah, so that's the Max & More one. Um, I actually was quite impressed with that. Really liked it. So, so far, so good with the powder. Concealer, bit unsure about that one. Uh, not sure, I still prefer an old concealer that I was using. But the pressed powder, I liked that. Okay, so I then went on to try the Travel eyeshadows, which are really good. They actually come like this, and I'll show you close-up shots. They come like this, and they actually have like, you can take the one palette, and you can do your foundation, your blush, your highlighter, your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, all in one palette. So this is really, really good to pop in your bag. Okay, so I bought two, and they were two different colours, so I do close-up shots of those ones. Um, they're really going to be handy, because I love a, anything small, travel size, that is me. Um, I actually bought um, another makeup palette, another small one, eyeshadow one. Um, I really like aquas and blues. I love colour, love colour in a big way, clothes, everything. I love colour. I can't be boring, I can't be plain, I love colour. So, um, well, God, look, look at the parrots, look at everything else that's colourful. Why shouldn't we be colourful? Mm. Cheers people up as well. And I bought this one, which is a glittery one from Max and More. And I haven't tried this one yet, but it looks pretty awesome and pretty amazing. That's probably more for a night out, because I prefer more of the shiny ones for a night out, um, the glittery ones, and more matte ones for during the day. But the one I had on today, which was this one, which is what I've got on now, which I was quite pleased with. It's quite glittery, though, so I wouldn't normally wear it as glittery during the day. But I was really pleased with that, so I can give that one a thumbs up. I was quite pleased and what I did find was really good was I bought an eyebrow pencil in brown um, I don't have much eyebrows but it's nice to fill them in a little bit now what I liked about this with the pencil in the lid it actually comes with a sharpener I just think I'm going to carry that lid around everywhere for lid pencils and everything if it's an emergency it also comes with a sharpener so not only does it have a sharpener it has a sharpener in the lid. Oh, fantastic. So I was really chuffed with that. Everything I showed you show so far was 99p. What a bargain. Next for the mascara. Okay, I'm going to get close-ups for you so you can see them properly. Right, the mascara, the, I always choose black because I like my eyelashes black. Um, I found this really nice nice mascara but the brush is very very thick on the end 
very big and chunky. I prefer a thinner brush, but the mascara side of it was fine. I just went over it with a thinner brush that I had because I found that a lot nicer. It thinned it out nicer. Um, but nothing wrong with the mascara, 99p again. Fantastic. Now, the lipsticks. This lady that was standing there talking to me advised me on the um, range of makeup. She said, um, you've got to try the lipsticks. And I will confess, I bought two packs of these, but I haven't tried them yet. But she said they are brilliant. So I'm yet to try those. But what I did try, this come in a pack together. And uh, this is what I've got on at the moment. It goes on like a gloss, it dries like a matte. It comes with this lip liner, and the lip liner was fantastic. Um, I've got quite wonky lips, so um, the lip liner was brilliant, and I put this on. Yeah, seems great so far. Had a glass of water, and it's still fine. Um, this is the classic red, <laughs> light red, as you can see. Um, this is the classic red. Um, 99p again. Oh. Even for the lip liner, I would have paid 99p. It is really good price. If you just want to try the makeup, these little bits, you might find out of 10 products, you might like two. But honestly, yeah, what you would pay normally for these, that is really good. Even if it's your everyday makeup and you want something special, something different for when you go out, I don't know. But it is really good. But whilst in home bargains, I don't stop there. Oh no, I like a shop. I like normal products in there, like the home stuff and the bathroom toiletries, anything like that. So, um, but what I did buy, I always have in my bag, are tissues. So these were 19p or 15p, I can't remember. But they open up. They open up, so they open up like that. And the reason why I like these is I always keep a small pack in my bag, even a little clutch bag when I go out. How many times have you been to a pub and then run out of toilet paper? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't shake. I wipe. So I would like a tissue. Thank you. So no, go for those. Really worth it. Now, my husband, I like sensitive teeth toothpaste because I have quite sensitive teeth. My husband likes whitening toothpaste. So I bought this and this was the McLean's, but it was 79p and it's, it's quite a big one. It's the 100ml one, not 50ml, it's the 100ml. And it was 79p. Yep, I thought that was a really good deal. He can have that one, he will like that one. Um, right, okay, I bought this in there as well and this is 199. I did throw away the box, I do apologise. Um, it comes in like a white box and it's got like a creamy bit, creamy line on it. Um, it's the pure BB cream and I actually really like that. I bought that all before I started using the other makeup, so that is really good. Um, whilst in there, blonde, don't like yellow blonde much. I keep trying to get rid of any yellow blonde. Um, this is a tone correcting shampoo uh, by Creighton's and it's um, sunshine blonde. It's meant to neutralise brassiness. So I do put this on once a week, not this one, but another make, so I've yet to try this make. So I will try it and if it's good, perhaps I'll tell you in the next haul. Um, I just like taking a bit of the brassiness out. Um, also, I am quite fussy on shower gels. And I have to have the boys in my house like the man one. And so the this is a men's one, Imperial Leather, Sea Salts and Black Mint. Um, we do find with Imperial Leather, they we use the sort of sponges and we put them in the washing machine. And we do find they foam up quite well. Um, and I bought myself the Jasmine and the Vanilla. I tried it out there. Um, was Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. Now, yes, it's white vinegar. Yes, you can buy white vinegar bulk. Um, it does say it's just white vinegar and a couple of other, amongst other ingredients. It smells white vinegar. And to be honest, if you could add some drops or something else just to take the vinegar smell out a little bit, this is gonna be the perfect product, what it is. I polish my mirrors, windows, 
everything like that, screens everything with this doesn't smear doesn't streak it just seems to be absolutely brilliant and I love it and it's 79p really really good um, I recommend it highly for mirrors and everything else I'll put a couple of people onto it because that's what I like to do ask Angela just put a couple of people on it um, uh, brilliant brilliant 79p that is fantastic um, need us to get my coffee, excuse me. And going back to that wonderful blogger that I really think is brilliant, and you must look her up, I'll try and put a link below. Her name's Kate McCarr, but I can never say her surname properly, I really apologise Kate. She does Mug of the Day, and well, she's a girl after my own heart. I don't do Mug of the Day, I do love your mug. And, yep, yeah, this is my coffee one with a little puffin on it. Always a great size for me for a coffee, I love it. So, um... Excuse me, this is my mug. Anyway, back to my home bargains. Now, I saw this on Instagram, from someone else that I follow on Instagram. Um, I'm a really, really bad Slimming World uh, person, in the sense that love it, love the recipes, do it for two days, give up for one. Do it for two days, give up for one. No, I'm not consistent and I want to be. Um, I need uh, some motivation, a bit more pushing. So I constantly, constantly look on YouTube and Instagram and follow people. And then it stops me sliding completely off the rails. But I'm going to give it a go where I start doing a diary properly and start doing it again. But... These were put on, and I cut, oh, sorry, I got rid of the boxes, but I cut the fronts out. And these were put on from someone on Instagram, and these are really good. I think they're about five sings, but you will need to check. They're called Skinny Whips. They're 99 calories per one. I prefer these than the high five bars that the Slimming World Club do. I'm not really into them. I know some people love them. I'm just not into them. So I prefer the Skinny Whip ones. Um... So that one was toffee and chocolate fragrance, fragrance? flavour. Uh, this one is strawberry, strawberry and chocolate. Oh, I've tried that one, that is really nice. I've tried the toffee one as well, that is really nice. This is really, oh, actually I've tried all three, what am I talking about? I've tried them all, um, really, really nice. Really tasty and really takes that edge off if you want something a bit sweet. I tend to like something a bit sweet after dinner, so whether it's be a yoghurt, fruit, or something like that, if I'm really craving or a curly whirly, I love a curly whirly. Um, this is a double chock one, uh, so you've got the three, so you've got the three, so you've got the strawberry and chocolate, double chocolate, or toffee and chocolate, all really nice, recommend them all, love them. And they are for the... Skinny Whip Bars, 99p for a pack of five. Not bad, 20p each. Right, okay. Um, there's another YouTube lady that I follow. And Brummy Mummy of Two, brilliant, love her too. Um, she's into stationery. I get her passion. I get her passion. So I went in there, and because I've got to make notes, I've got work to be doing and stuff like that, I'm always loving a bit of stationery. And I had to buy this book. This notebook. With an A on the front. It's mine. It's Angela's. Just like my bag. Love an A. So, yeah, I love this, and this is going to be so handy for YouTubing notes and stuff like that, and anything I want to take notes of. So um, that was 99p, again, do like a 99p, don't I? Anyway, one thing I did buy out of there, I don't know if any of you guys are the same, I have to have uh, prescription glasses for driving. No getting away with that, got to have them for driving, sometimes watching telly if my eyes are tired, uh, but mainly for driving. So they kept in my car, have a spare pair at home. But I don't really need prescription glasses for reading. But what the, I've discussed this with the petition, and they have said to me, my eyes feel really tired and strained sometimes if I want to read of a night or anything like that, and, or in a restaurant, if you're looking at a menu, it can be a bit, the word, is the wording getting smaller, or is it just me? I find that the words seem to be getting smaller. On a packet of tablets, like paracetamol, or if you want to read something, the words are smaller. Or am I getting older? 
Um, so, I buy the cheap ones. My husband and I, that sounds posh, doesn't it? My husband and I buy the cheap ones because we leave them everywhere. Dotted around the house, in bags, in cars, everywhere. So these are 99p. And I bought this pair, which I will show you another link up because we know I know that I used to be a 1.0 and now I'm a 1.5 my husband's still 1.0 um, but oh wow just perfect for reading that novel and we do love a novel so yeah so that's my 99p glasses and they've got a pretty bit on the side I do I do go for different colors from what I'm wearing love a color and this is another one where it's got um, at that side and these were 99p also so these are my two new additions because I at least go through two to three pair a year to be honest where they get broken or they get lost or yeah, whatever the dog sits on it they just get used so these are my new 99p glasses for reading <laughs> Anyway, so I think that rounds up today on my Home Bargains haul. Um, look forward to more because it's not just going to be all about shopping. Um, it is more about Ask Angela, so subscribe to me and you're going to learn a lot more. We can give each other tips and help each other out. I've learned so much from other ladies that I just think it's brilliant. Um, and gentlemen, oh, I thought it's men too. Yeah, some good men guys on there. One of them does a really good charity shop for Anyway, so follow me and you can have more coming up soon. Bye now.